Welcome to Sega CD Model 1 Hour, uh, featuring how is this even working? We have a Sega CD Model 1. It's the first one to come in. Gosh, I mean, ever? Or maybe not. I mean, we see Model 2s occasionally. I've definitely seen Model 1s in the past, but they probably were all broken. I don't remember having a working Model 1, let me put it this way. And this came in a couple weeks ago, and it's fully working. Um, what is this game even called? Because this game's called this game's called Iron Helix. It's a random game I had in my collection that looked like it would only take five or ten minutes to play and get angry at. So this is definitely going to be a let's try or let's get angry or whatever. So uh, the interesting thing about the Model One, the Model One, uh, the Genesis sits on top of the Sega CD, and you actually open it up by pressing the reset button on the Genesis. I don't know why I find that so amusing, yeah, but I really like, do. Yeah, that's that's. You can hear that. It's the. It, I got it. Yeah. It's the fourth play, right? If y'all out there in YouTube land can't hear what they're saying, we can't either. <laughs> there are words being said. Alert and new target. Got it. Uh, Look at those stunning FMV graphics. <laughs> I mean, I'm not gonna lie, like. It would be legitimately stunning after you've played stuff like... Well, this came out in, like, 91. So after you played stuff like Sonic, this would be kind of stunning. But then you start the game and you're like, oh, this game sucks. Well, little did we know that Iron Helix was actually a precursor to StarCraft. So something to look forward to. I am in the process of learning both Panzer Dragoon and Darius Gaiden for the Sega Saturn. Hey. Cool. So I don't know anything about this game. We literally just picked it off the shelf. Look I at mean, that, like just random generic guy standing behind or sitting behind a counter. It does, and he has like a, a tree painting behind him. This, this does is not the work. future. What if? It has infected us with a disease that seems to rapidly be attacking our immune systems. Okay. All right. Something, something, space, something, illness. Our defender security robot no, he, uh, will deploy and kill us as if we were intruders. We are helpless to stop it. So something is attacking their immune system and, like, changing it? Oh. And yeah, now yeah. robots are fighting you because reasons. They, okay, so I guess... Oh, well, we could pl replay the intro. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Skill level one. <laughs> well, well, that's a lot of... One is the hardest. As, uh, as... That was way too much gameplay. Please <laughs> show more videos. <laughs> Thank you. This is Admiral Arbok. Your mission now Arbok. is to send your probe on board. Find the DNA from the crew, then find, find the, the DNA. Do you think from the people that were in these games were like, finally, one of the crew my big break? More like, hey, do you want to be in this game? We'll give you like 500 bucks to do this. The, uh,. <laughs> the ultimate example is Rebecca Chambers in Resident Evil 1. She's in it for like two scenes, and she probably got a couple hundred bucks to do that. Uh... <laughs> what? That was... What? That was... That wasn't the game messing up? Uh... No, that had to be the game messing up. It just... Uh, this game looks like it's a horror game. Oh my god, dude. Okay, there, there's, there's a map on the bottom. You can see the triangle. It's oh like... my god. Watch this. Okay, ready? I'm gonna press up. Ready? On three. One... Two, three. It takes oh, like five no! seconds to load! Imagine like getting to a room and looking around. Alright. Push right. Right, 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 right. Zero pressure. God. <laughs> Dude, considering that only the top like 25% of the screen is the actual like gameplay, this is actually kind of spooky, especially with no audio. Like, where's the robot that's gonna hurt you? Yeah, there's, uh... Let's find him. Immediately. Ooh, there's a lot of... DNA bank. You have to find the DNA. This is very PC. This is very... Yeah, I mean, I agree. <laughs> I'm pushing all the buttons and nothing's happening. Okay. Uh, let's check out that map. Now. Unless your controller's broken, which would be... Oh, no. It's definitely working. Okay. Let's just keep going. All right. Go in there. And oh, we can. Great. Oh, it just took forever to to load. Okay. All right. This is uh, cutting edge. 
what? technology Sorry. right about now. Right. So far, I still don't see anything I can do. <laughs> Just word <weren't> letters. <laughs> like I'm, like there's nothing that I see that I'm like, oh, interact with this. Okay, so this video might literally be five minutes long. <laughs> it's the show we have the Sega CD. Dang it! Maybe. And and for future reference, uh, people out there, we we'll do will a couple more. We will do we will do uh, more in the future. Okay, turn left. In the future, just like we've been doing random, random Saturn games. These are games you never want to play, people. Access denied. Uh, oh, oh. oh, what? Let's go. Let's go, baby. I mean, I, it said red, and I pressed up, and then it granted me access. All right, uh, five. Six. Go to six. Oh, Wait, it has to you... load it for each time. Oh, uh, cool. Like, you don't just, <laughs> just select get out of the four. four. Okay, five. Yeah, do five. Now we're going all the way, baby. All right. Going all the way. All righty. Each Let's... floor is so small. This space elevator sucks. I'm not going to disagree with you there. All right. All right. Oh. oh. Now this Sorry, is... Rip. Uh, actually, I want to go towards that door over there. Actually, I want to find a <laughs> robot and die. It's right there. I would like it if I found that robot and died. <laughs> that was a different noise. So, so I guess red means open? Because I keep pressing red, and it's like... Ugh. Ah, red, the classic thing that makes me think that <laughs> I can good to go. Oh, I can go up and... Oh, I can't go up that ladder? Come on. That, yeah, if it doesn't show on the map, it's probably nothing. Wait, you want to see some? Yeah, let's see it. <clears throat> Ready for this? Let's yeah, see it the in robot. Ready for this? Room. Space. <laughs> the final frontier. <laughs> I like how space is uh, uh, white pixels on black. This is a uh, this is dead space. This is dead space. This is Absolutely. Dead space. Absolutely. Yeah. This this game is more like disturbing than I thought it would be. Even though we found nothing. It's unsettling, but I think that's mostly a product of the technology. Yeah, I agree. I wish I could find something. Like, okay, you know, here. Nope. No, nope, can't interact. Oh, could you imagine if you could interact with something? Oh, how terrible would that be? <laughs> if you could, like, do so? Oh, my God. All right. I want to know how to jam or arm, but... Uh, well, you just find a, a big machine, and then you jam your arm in. And you should get the results you're looking for. Okay. Wait, what are we looking at? DNA system. Gotta be something in... Oh, well, it's because the stabilizer's off. So I was just interested. The stabilizer I looked up, just... I looked up Iron Helix on Amazon. Uh, there's only three listings, so it's pretty obscure. <laughs> but uh, it's worth nothing. <laughs> Rip. Oh. I was about to say it only has a two-star rating because one guy rated it two stars, but it was only because he received the wrong game. <laughs> Somebody ordered this game! Can you imagine? He ordered, ordered this game and gave it he two got the, stars, he got even though DOS he got version. the wrong game. <laughs> Could you imagine literally going so out of your way to order this game? He was pleasantly surprised that he got a game other than this. <laughs> oh, wow, I got this. You sent He's me... like, well, this wasn't what I wanted, but... You sent me missed instead. It's still Thank two you. star. I'll still give it two stars. Oh, sweet. I found the dumpster. All right, go in there and get trash compacted, just like Star Wars. All right. Because every, I mean, every single uh, space thing, we have a big galactic dumpster. You have to die in. Uh, I'd be okay with that. Why would they put the dumpster on the top floor? <laughs> it should be bottom floor. This is okay. Are yeah, you, that I makes no me. sense. Is this actually happening? Am I, like... Where's the robot? Am I, like, ten minutes into this game and I literally cannot find a single thing that's happening? Well, you could uh, interact with all the floors, but it's so slow and painful that it's barely worth doing. <laughs> uh, what, do, what are you interacting? How do you interact? Or just, uh, or just explore all the floors. I mean, you literally press up, down. I've only pressed up, down, left, and right so far. I gotta say, guys, I'm getting used to this. I'm getting used to the load times. It's like, oh, yeah. All right, so we're going to try one more floor. 
Uh, what well, do we start on four, right? Let's go to th- let's go to three. All right, three I thought would we... probably be a good like avenue, probably for like actual content. It's gotta be. Ah, oh. this sucks. I'm gonna go out on this one. Yeah, do this. I like the beeping. Oh yeah. There's a robot. Where? Oh. There's a robot. Turn right. Yeah. Oh, sh- <laughs> Well, we found something, and then we died. All right. That was a good video. <laughs> Your probe has been destroyed by the ship's defender. Oh, it's just a probe? That's why... Oh. Uh, that's why I can't do anything. So now it's like... Oh, plus... oh, skip, skip. Or it's gonna oh, play dude, the thing. Dude, This music is like Dilbert 2. It is giving me Dilbert too. Oh boy, this game! But the video, uh, video did not skip this time. No, it didn't. Well, yeah, that was definitely some sort of like weird glitch. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna play anymore. Yeah. I mean, that's just you. Robot. Yay, Sega CD! We'll see you next time, guys. Uh, an Iron Helix, two out of five. Receive two. the DOS. It's like a one. Receive the DOS version instead. <laughs>